Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Now then, on this video I'm going to be showcasing and showing a max god level upgrade with X-Class parts on this absolutely fantastic tier 3 or 3 star um, system where there's a blue and gold exotic. Absolutely beautiful ship it is. Here we go, can you see it there right in front of me? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump down and give you a quick look at this ship and uh, let me know what you think. Absolutely brilliant. So first of all, it is a Royal and it is a first wave. So it comes in on the first wave. This is in Euclid. It's a first wave. It's got a single booster, usual uh, Royal with a long nose and it looks really, really, really nice. It's a... Uh, number seven as usual a red seven and it's gold and blue look at it it's absolutely stunning isn't it what else I'm going to do on this video as well is I'm going to show you a quick tour of the station that I found it in and all the little things in the station around so <clears throat> there you go it's a really lovely little ship and, uh, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the stats of the base stats of the ship and what it actually looks like now here we go so basically it's um damage potential 215 shield strength 290 hyperdrive 165 and maneuver maneuverability 438.5 right okay so i've got my job ahead of me to upgrade this thing so but before i upgrade it i'm gonna have a quick walk around the station with you and we're going to have a look so i'll start with the scrap dealer and see what the scrap dealer says right then the scrap dealer let's uh let's click on him and see what's in the scrap shall we i always love these xs class upgrades so let's have a look so we'll go into purchase old scrap and i'll look all the way down to the bottom and there ain't anything there so i'll go on to one of the traders now so we're on to the multi-tool trader let's have a look so that multi-tool looks pretty cool by the looks of it it's pretty similar to my channel colors isn't it but i don't like the style of it it's an a class and look at the damage potential on that and it looks like it comes as standard so it's probably worth getting don't you agree absolutely amazing absolutely fantastic right then on to the next one then oh hang on let's just have a look at the parts sorry i forgot there you go oh there's a bolt caster module which is s class okay on to the next right then it looks like we're on to the uh, ship upgrade one okay so a lot of us go in here and i know i do to have a look at the upgrades when i first come into a station so let's see what they've got oh they haven't got very much they've got some a classes nothing special right on to the next right i always come to this one as well because i like upgrading my um exo crafts so let's see what this guy's got oh we've got an exo craft cannon module now nah, i've got one but there we go that's fine it's okay for me right then onto the back of the station let's have a look in the um trade terminal in the back of the station so we've got some good ones here um ionized cobalt we've got some wiring looms yeah they look pretty cool right then we'll go to the front side one now okay so the trade terminal at the front where the terminus is we have some interesting things in here we've got some dirt in here which is pretty good that's useful um hydraulic wiring res res um oh, i can never say that phosphorus and chromatic metal so i'm out of phosphorus so i'm going to grab some of that and i think i might grab some chromatic metal as well absolutely fantastic well, I'll be coming back to this one again because that's got that in and it's really hard to get hold of. So, fantastic. And I'll get some wiring looms, I think. Oh, well, probably not. My inventory's full, but I can come back for them. Right then, this is currently in Euclid on the map and it's on a T3 system, which is fantastic. There you go. This is in a six planet system. I haven't been to any of them yet. So by all means, guys, if you want to come and claim them, you claim them. I've got no idea what planets they are. Right then, guys, I am now back. Absolutely fantastic. I shot off. I went away for ages. I think it was about four hours and I upgraded the ship to its maximum capability. 
I put a load of X class parts on and I put a load of S class parts on and here we go this is the finished result so let's have a look it's um, 434.9 on damage potential as you can see with this shield I'll go to the shield in a second the shield strength is 391.1 the hyperdrive range is 2828.3 and the maneuverability is 834.6 now as you can see I'm going through them all now so you can see what I've actually put on and I'll put I'll show you the D the uh, peak damage as well and uh, yeah it is an absolute beast of a ship absolute beast so as you can see I put the rocket launchers in because they put it up and the photon cannon doesn't necessarily give too much but when you put them in like this it adds that little extra every single time and if you look carefully how I've actually done if I go on to them quickly because I can't see see the things right okay so if you look here on the hyperdrives as you can see I split that X class and the S class see like that and what that's done is it's boosted it and made it even higher now this is how I set them up like this and they're like um, if you look how I do like C's and L's if you know what I mean like that and that's how I upgrade and that's how I do them. It totally and utterly maxes them out. Juggle the X classes around with the S classes and just see uh, see it build up. It actually gets quicker and higher and more faster. And it absolutely amazing power. Um, and just ignore the photon cannons because they're, uh, they're not that good to be honest. And the shields, I managed to find an X class at plus 38 percent for the shields which is brilliant for this type of ship absolutely brilliant i stuck um a uh, what do you call it a stealth trail in and i put all the little statue figures in um just to boost up even more and that's it absolutely fantastic so what i think we should do is take it out for a spin i'm gonna do a weapons test now as i usually do on my uh, on my fly arounds on my upgrades so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into space now and I'm going to fire the photon cannon. As you can see, it's been fully upgraded. It's taken ages to disperse. Now I'm going to go onto the positron injector. Not so good, it overheats a bit. I'll probably need to tweak on that a bit. Now then, the uh, Infinite, look at that endless stream of bullets. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. And this should be the um, cyclotron, I think it is, and the rockets and the phase beams. I haven't got much of an upgrade on, they've just been added to make them look better. And back to the photon cannon. <coughs> now, I put some, um, th these are the stealth trails you can see coming out of the back, and I think it makes the ship look absolutely amazing. I'm now testing the maneuverability from pulse onwards, and you can see it flies absolutely amazing. So now I'm going to go into pulse mode and test the speed of pulse and see if it looks or goes any quicker. And by the looks of it, this ship is absolutely flying. What a beautiful ship to have. And it's 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 one of those little guppy styles which are quite rare by looking at them with the little side boosters on. It looks great with the three trails on, doesn't it? And with the pulse mode, look at that ship. Look at it shine. It's absolutely fantastic. Right then, back to the station. And we'll finish off the video, shall we? God, this took ages to do this to this ship. But it's well worth it at the end of the day. Just to show you what it's like. Right then, okay, let's land this bad boy. And then jump out. So you've had a tour of the station, everything that's in it, and uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Well, thanks very much for watching the video. Thanks for supporting me on the BAFTAs things and everything. And uh, thanks everybody for watching the videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.